Good day, grade 11 students. Welcome to our class, The Oral Communication in Context. I hope that every one of you are feeling great and highly spirited as we go along with our lesson for today. What are we waiting for? Let us now start our class. But first, let us answer this question. What comes to your mind when we speak of communication? Did you say talk, converse, speak, communicate? Exchange of ideas, sending information, and others? Yes, you are all correct. These are some of the definition of communication. Now let us discuss what is communication. Communication is a process of sharing and conveying messages or information from one person to another within and across channels, context, media, and cultures. Communication is the exchange of thoughts, feelings, expressions, and observations among people. People can transmit messages verbally using words and phrases or non-verbally using signs, objects, and body movements, and etc. Communication may vary from spoken and written words, but also actions, mannerisms, and styles. Anything attached to a message that gives meaning. A simple hi or hello, waving our hands, nodding, or any form to send message is a form of communication. Now here are the nature of communication. Number one, communication as a process. The communication among people is active. They communicate following their creative and convenient ways and method to achieve a certain goal or objective. The main goal of communication is to send a message and to receive an appropriate feedback. For example, greeting a person of his or her mood first before beginning a conversation can be the beginning of the process. Number 2. Communication as an interaction. Communication binds people together. Their interaction with one another connects their understanding. For example, sharing opinions open one to respect others' point of view. As the word sorry softens your heart, a tap on a shoulder can pacify a needy person. So therefore, communication is a two-way process. Number three. Communication as a social context, the activity of producing, transmitting, and receiving meaningful symbolic messages in an environment such as schools, church, or any social gathering is communication. Here, people can influence or encourage others to create their own meaningful ideas. For example, teachers motivate their students to be creative and original. Now let us proceed with the process of communication. Number one, the speaker generates an idea. For example, Mr. Cruz wants to talk to his son about his failing grades. Number two, the speaker encodes an idea or converts the idea into words or action. At this moment, you will be thinking on how you will send the message to the receiver. For example, he decided to talk to him inside his room privately. Number three, the speaker transmits or sends out the message. At this stage, the speaker already sending the message to the receiver. Number 4. The receiver gets the message. 
At this time, the receiver only gets the message. For example, his son heard the message and became worried. Number 5. The receiver decodes or interprets the message based on the context. At this time, the receiver understands the message and thinking of ways on how to react on it. For example, his son felt that he needs to be honest with this answer. Number 6. The receiver sends or provides feedback. Always remember once again that the feedback could be verbal or non-verbal. So I hope you have understood the process of communication. Now let us proceed with the elements of communication. Now there are nine elements of communication. The first one is the speaker. The speaker is the source of information or message. Number two, message. This is the information, the ideas, or thought conveyed by the speaker in words or in actions. In short, message is the one that we are sending. Number three, encoding. This is the process of converting the message into words, actions, or other forms that the speaker understands. Encoding means you convert the message into different forms, be it in words, in actions, or anything that the speaker can understand. Number four, channel. The channel is the medium or the means such as personal or non-personal, verbal or non-verbal, in which the encoded message is conveyed. Number 5. Decoding Decoding is the process of interpreting the encoded message of the speaker by the receiver. Number 6. Receiver Receiver is the recipient of the message. He or she is someone who decodes the message. Number 7. Feedback Feedback is the reaction, the response, information provided by the receiver. The feedback can always be verbal or nonverbal. Number 8. Context Context is the environment where the communication takes place. Number 9. Barrier now, barrier are the factors that affect the flow of communication. It could be the noise, the feelings, or the context that hinders the flow. These are the lessons you need to learn for this week. On the next video, you will be learning more with the different activities I will be giving. Thank you for watching. This is Sir William. Have a great day.